Hello everybody and welcome to episode of Play Paper Button. Dinosaurs 8 Extreme Legends. Last time we went through and went through the Battle of Shinye and met Shushu before Shushu immediately left. But we've all spot in, but through that, uh, Shushu's uh, help, we have met the sleeping dragon known as Zhuge Liang. In this episode, we'll be heading to the Battle of Changman, which is basically one of the more one of the most famous battles in the series. Sao Sao's forces have come to attack a new location, fend off the, the enemy pursuit while protecting the people. But anyways, we'll be playing this mission as Zhuge Liang. Or Zhao. Under the guidance of Shu Shu, Liu Bei has managed to defeat Sao Sao and welcome Zhuge Liang as a strategist. Liu Bei was overjoyed at having found the brilliant strategist he had long been searching for. However, Shu Shu left once Liu Bei, uh, Liu Bei when Zhuge Liang arrived. Meanwhile, Cao Cao was not content with, within the battle with the Battle of Xinye and continued his march south. Around that time, Liu Biao died, and the trust is getting uh, is getting to his illegitimate son, Liu Ch Liu Kong, who immediately surrendered to Cao Cao. Liu Bei knew that Cao Cao would come next after him, and he was left with no choice but to wander the land again. This time, more than one million peasants from Jing Province accompanied him on this journey. It was almost as if Jing province itself was on the move, as hordes of people followed in, in procession. Liu Bei's popularity had served to bring great change to the periodic state of the land. In turn to protect the people, Liu Bei sought to lead them to a land where he could realize his goals. Zhu Liang, Xiao Yun, and Zhang Fei prepared to show their bravery at Changman. I also think it's one of the few missions where every single character has a unique objective. Uh, but we will see in a bit. Anyways, the war fan is the weapon of Zhuge Liang. A fan that basically is another thing that is associated with Zhuge Liang in most adaptations. And most things, he carried with him a fan that basically used for, like, delegation, like, basically like that. And for while he carried around, just in general. He was also known for carrying a loot, too. Uh, <laughs> world's best bard. Anyways, uh... Zhuge Liang was also had a habit of uh, insulting people to death with his own, with, with his own mockeries. Uh, basically, literally, uh, basically saying certain words that, like, basically either to make, like, basically demoralize, maybe he was, uh, had, he was very good with words, basically. Either demoralizing, making wounds, wounds worse, or just straight up giving them heart attacks and making them die straight out on the floor, like, long, long. Uh, yeah. Uh, Zhuge Liang is a, if he was a D&D class, he would be the bard. Heck, he even created songs, I think, too. The bard Zhuge Liang with his artificer wife, Yue Ying. <laughs> Anyways, so many lives in sacrifice get this far. I hope there will be no further bloodshed. I heard that Ado, Lord Libe's son, is marching with us. He's still only an infant. Are we really going to be Okay. Uh, Ado, also known as Liu Shan, or Liu Chan, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, turning on with the, that thing, or Ado, which, uh, Ado, our lord, someone's left behind. How terrible. You must figure out how to save him, for our lord will be without an heir if something were to happen. He was also known as his Ado becoming, I think, is it the word, right word, idiom, or being associated with, uh, not being smart, or being foolish. It's nice to hear that we come this far. Thank you so much. Hope you won't give up on us now. It's hard enough to keep the people safe. No, to face a horde of South South's groups, troops. We don't have any choice, do we? I'm staking my future on Lord Liu Bei. Our forces will blend the peasants and soldiers. We need to be careful how we manage them. South South's troops are very well trained. Isn't help they have so many of them. Yeah. I'll be able to leave my homeland, but I'll never leave Lord Liu Bei. Lord South South's forces are very strong. They'll easily crush our army. Well, you look a lot older than you do as, as your model. <laughs> Lord Liu Bei is the only one we'll trust. We'll stick with him no matter what. We are a peasant from Jing Province. We'll stick with Lord Liu Bei until we die. You fool, stop talking like that. If you die, it'll be over. How many of these people are there? It's like an entire country on the move. Man, that's it. They're all people with Master Liu Bei's country. So we have to protect them. Yep. He shares our joy and our tears. There's no other like Lord Liu Bei. We're with you. We're with you, Lord Liu Bei. This world's in chaos. 
It's the same anywhere we go, but maybe things can be different, Lord Liu Bei. I'm just starting to feel that way. Look at all that people flock to the Master Lord Liu Bei. He is, or as they as they probably would probably call him, Master Schwand, uh, or uh, because uh, courtesy names exist. Uh, and uh, if I forget, uh, I think it's Schwand. Uh, actually, give me a moment. Schwand. His name is Schwand. It would probably be called Master Schwand. He is a truly the light to lead this world. I must protect him not at the size of the force that come. Master Liu Bei is tired from his constant wandering. I hope the day comes and we'll soon take we'll soon all take a rest. A fine sight this is! The mighty Zhang Fei turning his back on the enemy? Ha! I guess we don't have a choice though, do we? For the sake of my brother, then, I'll protect all of y'all! I'll protect you all! You're finally out of strategy, but we're running away. Something just doesn't feel right. So you're Zhu Liang, the sleeping dragon. Please assist us with your great knowledge. My lord, it's me, the man you saved. I'm now the girl I met at Xin Ye. Hey, he lived! He said she'll march with us to the next battle. Let her love help us in conquering Chang Ban. Uh, yeah, let's do some weapon selling before we uh, continue. So, see you all in a bit. And that's what open sold. We have 3 million gold. Alright. Sao Sao gives chase to the large force. Does he really need such numbers just for me? The path that Sao Sao has chosen is completely opposed to what you're one of benevolence, Master Liu Bei. Having said that, it is not yet the time to face him. Let us flee from this peril along with the people. Everyone. I do miss this hat. That you do, that's the one thing on this design that isn't there, is Yugi Leong's canonical hat, which was kind of like a... kind of like waves. Anyways, this is an escape chapter map. We basically have... Also, by the way, the fan is a pretty good weapon, from what I remember. Zap. Basically, uh... He's an elemental master. Including lasers. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. The lasers thing was a lot more uh, famous with Suma Yi, his later his later rival in life. Uh, though they gave it to him as well. Though the lasers were very much a thing that Suma Yi used in that game. In the older games. And the newer ones too. I actually like soup. By the way, fun fact about this battle. Uh, because of because Sao Sao saw how many peasants were following Liu Bei, uh, Sao Sao purposely targeted all the civilians in order for uh, in order to try and uh, well, in order to get Liu Bei to stop and basically lose morale, he would purposely target the civilians, basically seeing them as one traitors and to uh, a means to uh, defeat them, you know. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Bzz, bzz. Eat this! Electric ball! I need to know where Josh Shu spawns this. Okay. Uh, being held by one of uh, Liu Bei's concubines slash wives. Which was his uh, second wife. Uh, for basically, Liu Shan is, uh, is the son of his first wife being carried by his second wife. Both died. This battle. Oof. Okay, you're supposed to follow. Okay, so we have to follow Liu Bei. So while Zhang Fei guard the bridge and Zhao Yun uh, goes behind. Never mind. Leave it to me. 
But yeah, Zhang Fei has the, the guarding the bridge. I wish there was a way like, uh, to reverse the camera image. Because then it would actually be accurate to me pointing at things. You know. But yeah. Zhao Yun, this is important, one of Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei's most famous battles, where uh, Zhao Yun uh, charged right through the enemy lines to save a baby. To save, uh, to save Ado or Liu Shan. Uh, and defeated a ton of officers. And uh, did, and basically came back. So much so they thought he was dead or betrayed the enemy. That's how long he was gone. Came back holding a baby and was covered in blood. He lived this, by the way. Le Freaking Zhao Yun is uh, amazing with his uh, his loyalty to uh, that. Uh, though I'll be more explaining about the Zhao Yun side when we actually get to Zhao Yun. I'll be more. But yeah. Okay. So that's where Josh Shu spawns. So, Joshu spawns up there. So. Mm hmm. Okay. I just need to know, uh, okay. When you head to the southeast ridge, you just go around and take out the other guy. Okay. What an amazing fighter! Again, I forgot how fun some of the move sets in Shu were. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Three, four, five. Zap, zap. Eat balls. Z zap, lasers. You are using medieval technology. Well, I'm using technology that has been that has been invented yet for about another two thousand years. For three thousand lasers and lightning. It does make sense to use that he uses wind, though. You know, for his famous thing of calling the wind. You know. Can you s stop? Two, three, four. One, two, three. Bzz. I think Zhao Shang or Zhao En uh, died here by Zhao Yun. Uh, and actually, he stole his sword and gave it to Liu Bei. Until so Liu Bei got one of his swords. Okay. Bzz. Bzz. Zap. I see you! Zap! Oh crap, it's only 18 already. Again, I love most of the movesets in this game. There are a couple that are suck, but I forgot how much I genuinely enjoy this, like some of these characters. I haven't even gotten up to the whirlwinds or thing yet, which is when characters really start going good. When they get their secret abilities. Psst. Psst. Hey, Zhuge Jun. I think Zhuge Jun is actually the son of Zhuge Liang. Yeah, and, uh... And there's the peasants being, uh, purposely targeted and slaughtered en masse by... by Cao Cao. Again. Cao Cao has conformed some really bad sins. I'm here! I lost so the rest of the episode. Okay. 
But yeah, if you if uh, the peasants die, you lose. So do be careful. I actually really like Zhuge Liang's character. As a kid, I really or a teenager, I didn't like Zhuge Liang that much. But as I grew, I tend I became less uh, not merciful, but like idealistic. I, I don't know what the right term is, but basically a lot more like, like, of, uh, like, he, basically, I understand that bad things have to, like, that sometimes you have to do, uh, things that, you know, that aren't the best in order for the better, the best outcome. Uh, or if that's the best way to put it, I don't, I'm not sure how to put this. Basically, I understand Julie, uh, Julie Long a bit more. There's a moment there where I actually really didn't like Jiggy Leon because I feel like he convinced Liu Bei to do it, despite Liu Bei really not wanting to do it. But I understand that he had to do it if he wanted to actually be able to get a foothold to secure, well, to secure because the person was wanted to surrender to the enemy, to, uh, to, uh, you know, want to surrender to the enemy. There yeah. Again? It seems that you bay and his followers have arrived. Now fire in the house. Look out for those giant rocks. If one of them hits us, it will be crushed. Oh yeah. Julie Long has actually turned into one of my favorite characters in the three kingdoms, I'm trying to say. Like genuinely. He genuinely wanted Shu to succeed. Like, in Liu Bei's vision to come to reality. Those weren't catapults, they're just feeling people throwing rocks! They weren't catapults at all! How does he get a human as a catapult? But that's not tr that's not, that's not how it works! Hello, Mon Chong. Again, a character that I really didn't pay attention to much, but now I actually realizing they were a playable character, I realized was very much obviously going to become a playable character. <laughs> I noticed that sometimes. That, uh, D D the Dynasty Warriors games of the past, when they add a new character, they tend to put them a lot in that in the game before. And give them a lot of screen time. Heck, happened with Jin, too, with, with Suma Yi. And Suma Yi in 6. The only one that didn't really fit play that because this was Zhou Chong. They did that with Chen Gong. They did that with with well, that's Shu Shu, but Chen Gong. They did that with Shun Yu. All right. Hello, Zhu Zhong Liao. Freaking flips in. Zhong Liao, help us! Oh yeah. What's the air attack for this? Oh yeah, laser. Oh my lord! I forgot how good that one is. Three lasers. Can I see, please? And smack, 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 By the way, with each peasant that dies, uh, 
new base morale goes down, and eventually he stops moving. Gosh darn it. Anyways, it's nothing. But anyways, let's go back to Battle Chumma. Next is Battle Chevy, which is again one of the more famous battles for Zhuge Liang. So we'll see that next uh, next episode. But first up, first, let's go back to Changban and do uh, do Zhang Fei's mission right away. Just get that done with. Uh, Zhang Fei's strong enough that he really doesn't need this weapon switch. Honestly, from what I understand. Oh, he has his fifth muscle. That's actually good because his fifth muscle is amazing. Anyways, unless he doesn't. Yeah, he has a Titan Whirlwind. So basically, in order to do this, you need to defeat John Shu without a single peasant escaping. Basically, what you need to do is uh. <laughs> Okay, let's see. How much damage do you do? One hit? Okay, you're fine! Okay, he's fine. You see how much damage does the officers, and if he does a good amount of damage, I'm just gonna keep his moveset. Okay, yeah, he's fine. Heck, he does normal damage. I forgot how much damage. Junior. Bonk! Yeah, your tactics. Heck with... Actually, I don't even need the quick learner on anymore. Get, get, uh, get rage springs. Get that, get that rage. You know? It is Zhang Fei, after all. Man was known for his anger problems. And his drinking. Which isn't really showcased much in the game. But it is very much showcased in other media. Gulp. Holy freaking crap! How much damage? Okay, he can give himself an attack of it will. Good enough. Oh my lord! This is hard mode! <laughs> oh my lord! Is this hard mode? Hard mode! Like, genuinely. It has to be, because it's because the enemies are not dying in one hit, so. Oh my gosh! Okay, a free attack of a will, I guess. Bonk. Doesn't need it anyway. There's this Zhang Fei's most famous moment of the Changban Bridge. Where he's going to be guarding this bridge this entire time, basically fighting every officer, preventing it from going past him. Bulk! Bulk. Now, if you're playing normally, like just playing free mode with any character, you'll play, uh... You will play as Zhao Yun's mission. Monk. Hey, can you stop, please? Stop it! Stop! Stop! Stop hitting me! Anyways. Okay, let's save just in case. Anyways, let's show off his one Muso. In my opinion, it's probably his best move, so. Bonk. Bonk. Damage. Bonk. It's so much damage. It's a free attack, but will. 
Is all on the way to the John Lund Bridge. This is where you meet your end. Stop. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's like, it's like a moth to the flame! Shut up! But yeah, fuck, fuck. Okay, slash, slash, slash. Okay, quick save. Get off my leg. Bug. I was, uh... Basically where I'm from, stink bugs have been pretty bad this year. And the stink bugs have been everywhere. I've been dealing with them for a bit. This happens every year. Just... Every year, they just, like, they, uh... They just come out. All right, get over here. As you can see. All right, shred them. Oh my god! Holy moly! Again. I wonder if they can stack. They stack? No. Bonk. Again. Zheng Fei. Pretty darn strong. Oh, so he, gets, he also has access to dash now. Yeah, I do miss when it was a one-bladed uh, thing, but I, I get it. Oh nope, 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 nope. Why are you running past me? Get out of here! Gulp. Okay, get over here. Bonk. Now this is what Zhang Fei did in history. This is probably Zhang Fei's finest hour in the in the, in the uh, the book. Basically, Zhang Fe uh, or Fei basically uh, guarded the Chongban Bridge during uh, during their escape to uh, Jing Province. Basically, 
where uh, everyone was running away, and Zhang Fei stayed behind in order to uh, basically to block the assault. Zhang, F the entire army is approaching. Zhang Fei let out a scream so violent and terrifying that it scared the entirety of Zh of his army, <laughs> of the entirety the entire ar enemy army, making them not able to progress. Completely stagnating their army. It's a really, really interesting, like, uh... And because of that, Zhao Yun was able to escape. And get to, uh... And get to them. Was able to get to them. And was also to, uh... And was also able to break the bridge. By burning it down. Preventing anyone from being able to cross it ever again. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> that, yeah, that is true. Well, Bonk. Oh, pff. okay. Alright, and that's that down. Now you just have Joshua. Which you can reach now. So I'm gonna quick save. Now we can't no we're supposed to head there. We're supposed to. Ignore the order. Instead, pursue. And take out Joshu. Okay, Joshu. Bork, bork, bork. And there we are. Feed in. I'm guessing it's on the bridge. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it is. I was right. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, it is literally the most famous moment for this for for, for Zhang for Zhang Liao. So, well, not Zhang Liao, Zhang Fei. Okay, I need to make it there quickly before, uh, you know, before we actually lose the weapon due to winning. I have to restart the entire battle again, <laughs> which I do not want to happen. So let's get that weapon before then. There it is. Heaven's Venom. Hmm. I kind of like it. I also, it, but I kind of like th this one more because it fits more of his actual. But this one's kind of cool. I like the I like the black and green fits with him, you know, with, wear, with wearing black and green. One well, more brown and green, but you know I mean. All right, so. We basically have to defeat, uh... So we just have to beat Zhao Yun's side of the story, which will be pretty easy. Usually. Should be. Please don't jinx it. Alright, come and get it. Slash, 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 slash. Boonk. Okay, I'm just gonna do this because it lasts a while. Yeah. 
Bonk. 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 And there we are. I'll teach you Lakuna too about battle. Alright. Bonk. Bonk. Now, the one thing about Zhang uh, Fei is uh, it can't, like, basically dash. It's not as fast and a lot more strong. It'd be like, like, versus like a shoulder tackle versus a charge. Yeah. Versus a, uh, or stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Basically being a ballista versus everyone else's arrow. And one more battle for the day. For the day. Also, I was wrong about it being as long. It is just as long as Wu's. And, and, uh, hang on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. It's just it's it's just as long as Woos because Woos isn't has more side missions. That's it. Anyways, let's do Chongmon with the actual character. Well, yeah, well with a with, well not an actual character with the well my f bleh, with Zhao Yun's most famous moment of raising of saving Adol. So, let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go and destroy them. Bonk, bonk. Alright. Get out with that. Bonk. Bonk. Boosh. What was that? Yes. Bonk. 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 And he's been blinded. Seriously, if that if this game was R was rated R, this game would be felt would be a freaking fatality. Anyways, or rated M, that'd be a fatality level of blood. Chop, 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 chop. Get quick on to all of this. Alright. So this is where we do our objective. Now what level are you? 21. Alright. Oh, hello there. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I see. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. And then he's dead. Here. Alright. Okay. Smack, smack. There's the handmaiden. That handmaiden has a name. It's Lady Me.
That lady's name is Lady Me. Which is, uh... Basically, uh... Which is Liu Bei's second wife, which, uh... Mizu is the, uh... The, the brother of. And she died there, by the way. Oh, by the way, this entire battle... Uh, Lu Shun has uh, Ado, uh, uh, Zhou Yu has Ado kind of like strapped to his chest, like a bit like a swat with sw and swat, like a uh, not swaddling cloth, like a uh, that's the term, basically just strapped to his chest while he's fighting off an army. Uh, he cre basically, he's one of the reasons the Musa genre became a thing. Uh, because of, well, one Lubu is killing 1,000 people a day, uh, and, uh, and Zhao Yun's, uh, valor at the Chongbon Bridge. With a baby struck to my chest! Now, uh, sadly, sad news for Adol... Uh, Liu Bei isn't too happy about Zhao Yun, uh, charging straight into the battlefield to save his son. And, uh, book-wise, or is it historic- or historically, Liu Bei, when given back his son from Zhao Yun, looks at his son, looks at Zhao Yun, then throws the baby on the floor. Uh, why he did this? It's a part of a- of a thing during that time period, period of the thing, but basically loyalty between a, well, basically is this. His reasoning was it's bet it like why did he risk his life for a uh, for a baby who could be very well be dead in about two like in, in like a few months due to sickness versus Zhao Yun, which was alive, which alive fully capable now, when he was you know. When he did this, why did he risk his life for the baby? But still, Le Leo Bay, worst father of the year. <laughs> I'm not defending his actions. His action during that was crap. T saying why he did it, but it doesn't excuse it. Basically. Don't throw your baby on a floor, especially when that turns out to be your only heir! Anyways. <laughs> yeah, that baby, he ended up regretting that decision because uh, that baby lived a long time to the point of it actually yeah, becoming the next, the heir of Shu, Liu Shan. I'm coming as next emperor. So yeah, oopsie doopsie. I accidentally threw my my newborn heir on the floor. But yeah. Luckily, from what I understand, it did not uh, physically hamper or like him at all during his adult life. Like, luckily, which is good, but still, Liu Bei. Still. Hello, Zhou Kong. Funk, funk. It seems Liu Bei has some formidable officers in his ranks. However, I must finish this battle. Okay, maybe, maybe never mind. They didn't ever interrupt the spear. I just was using it wrong. I just really sucked at this game. Like 
I do know the spear got buffed. The, uh, the regular cavalry spear. Of, uh... Mach House weapon. Got buffed. Honestly, a lot of the spears got buffed in this game. Spears have always been consistently good in the Warrior series. Swords, too, in my first opinion. And axes, and honestly, a lot of weapons. It's usually the ones that are, like, really weird they add. It's like, why why'd you add this? It's kind of bad. Okay, get out of here. Uh, that stinks. But yeah, I was right. This is one of the few missions... Uh, this is actually one of the missions that inspired me to do every character for historical routes only. Because of, uh... Well, this mission here. Where every character has a unique, unique objective. Monk. Hello, Jaho Yuan, a character that I fell in love with more than uh, than I expected to with with your moveset. I didn't expect to like his moveset as much as I did. Bonk. Bonk. After five seconds. But yeah. Anyways, I just have to wait, so spin Zhao Yun. Spin, spin, spin. You know, I actually never really got dizzy from spinning as a kid. Like, a lot of people would be like, like, I never really had vertigo. That's why most of my family having it, which is a blessing. Bonk. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, there's three peasants left. I was about to say, why are there two peasants? <laughs> We're all gonna make it, Zhao Yun. Uh, uh, Zhang Liao says no. You are doing an excellent job. Alright, time to use our Musou from Dynasty Warriors, well, Dynasty Warriors 5, the older games. I'm, I'm actually glad that these returned in Dynasty Warriors, uh, uh, 9, that they got, they brought back the old Musos. And mixed them with the cutscene Musos, I actually thought that was a really good idea. And that's the end of this episode. Next one is to play uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. We'll be heading into the Battle of Cherby, which will have a little bit more interesting things for me to do. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Peace.